it just brought so much joy and so much power to my life because I'm always doing that, you know? Clearing up, clearing up things for people and it brings them such joy and... and uh, but it's difficult. <laughs> about the reciprocating battle between the forces of darkness and destruction with the forces of lightness and creation. So it's a never-ending battle. And if you engage in the battle, then it is never-ending. So there can never be peace as long as there's a conflict. So, given that that is the case, it's a never-ending struggle. What is the solution? What is the, what is the victory? What is the victory over this violence between the two life forms that exist? Of what is the... What is the solution between the conflict of the two forces, evil people and good people? Since if either side takes a side without acknowledging that the human being contains all forces, within one human body is the components of every force of react within one human being is contained the forces of all the worlds in other words of all the functions of nature that you found in your life be they good or bad so given that that exists um, throughout birth and death birth and death birth and death then what is the solution the solution is the binding cohesive force that gives pranic energy to both evil people and good people. It is a dark side of the force and a light side of that force. Or rather, there is a dark side of fundamental absolute power. And there is a light side or positive side of fundamental absolute power. Once again, there is a light side or positive side of fundamental power and also stemming in a current system of fundamental darkness. So, what is the solution is to align with the absolute law, which all is one. It's the binding cohesive force that unifies all forces of negative and positive. And if you are tapping into that correctly, and the only given technology that I know of um, is Nam Myoho Ringe Kyo, this algorithm, this vocal algorithm provided through the body of Buddhism, and the body of Buddhism and its 40,000 sutras contains all of the forces of fundamental negativity and positivity articulated through the being Shakyamuni Siddhartha Gautama Buddha and then he revealing that there would be a beginningless beginning Buddha <coughs> who would then enable who would then practically enable all people to attain Buddhahood in the future of the latter day. Given a time of greed, anger, and ignorance, war, poverty, and strife, both the negative forces, evil people, and good people are able to attain happiness with this binding, unifying law. And this is the only way that I know of. Otherwise, you're taking sides of goodness and evil. And if you have the, if you recite the sutra, if you recite the sutra with prayer 
and intention your personal desire, then the forces of goodness and the forces of evil will for the first time ever, ever known in, in for the first time ever, this unifies all the forces inside one's life towards creating value, towards creating true value. So it does not matter if you're evil or good, given preferable to be good, but all living beings deserve, no, all living beings can, ac can acquire happiness, all living beings can acquire happiness, so taking sides is no longer the issue, but it is an internal revolution of transmutation, because in general, Transmuting darkness or evil forces, binding and subjugating those forces, whether they be good or bad, results in a greater ultimate victory inside oneself. And that is the queasy, difficult churning of the stomach. It is the, the negative resistance that it takes to begin this journey, much more to continue it, is the struggle that is the quintessential battle of the new age. It, it is an independent, individual choice of human revolution. And in that struggle, there is to be found unlimited joy, compassion, wisdom, strength and courage. The point, is, the point 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 is.